Hello guys, welcome back to the another video of C++ tutorial. In this video, we are going to continue our C++ control statement. So, like in last video, we seen about the break statement. So in this video, we are going to see about the continuous statement. Let's see what is continuous statement. C++ continuous statement. The C++ continuous statement is used to continue loop. Okay guys, not the point. It is used to continue the loop. It continues the current flow of the program. Okay, it continues the current flow of the program and skip the. No, it, this is the main word, guys. Skip. Okay, skip the remaining code at a specific condition. Okay, in case of inner loop, it continues only inner loop. Note the point. In break statement, we seen about like. It will break the control flow it, in continuous statement it is like a skip okay if fully skip that condition only okay like syntax we like in break statement like we use like a continue and colon if you till now don't watch break statement kindly watch the video I give in the icon so let's dive into the example let's create uh, it's taking time yeah let's create the include header file creating the main function Guys, till now who are don't subscribe. Till now who are not subscribe or channel, kindly subscribe and give your feedback about my like how I speak, how I teach to you, the way of teaching, what are the things I need to improve. Give that feedback in the comment section, please, guys. At least one number, please give it in the feedback. What are the things I want to do? Okay, let's create for loop. A is equal to 1 A lesser than or equal to 10 A plus, plus It is going to print number from 1 to 9 So in this we are going to use if condition Like A is equal to 5 Like before we use the in break statement so, but instead of giving break, we are going to use give continue. So, by giving this continue, we are we can understand by seeing the output. Okay, guys, I'm going to complete this. Okay. So, let's run this program, guys. Okay, continue. Okay, let's run and see the result. Okay. So you need to watch this output and carefully guys kindly watch. Come on. Listen to this carefully. For in this loop except if you don't consider if condition it will going to print from 1 to 9 but when we give if condition like when phi like a is equal to 5 when the fifth iteration when a is equal to 5 it will going to check a is equal to 5 so i think i am getting confused like when a is reached fifth iteration it checks like a 5 is equal to 5 and then it will enter into the if statement it will going to continue it will wo it won't display this as a output okay like a 5 as output see this guys 1 2 3 4 the 5 will missing because inside the if condition we are using the continue statement to skip that okay skip that condition only what are the things we given in this condition it will going to skip and continue in the other iteration okay 
the next day continue in the next day reason so it again next print 6 7 8 9 okay so this is like only the continuous statement is working so that's all guys i think this is the very shortest video i have i ever have uploaded in this channel so kindly don't forget to subscribe our channel and give one thumbs up so see you in the next video guys bye bye